Hello, I'm Ehsan. In this video, I want to talk about AC05 uh, module is related to Bluetooth protocol. Okay, let's get to the document and uh, explain how it is. Uh, this is the module. As you can see, we have six pins in here. Uh, one of them for enable, two for VCC and ground, and two other that for TX and RX. It's for uh, UART protocol, and the last one is for a state when we uh, connect it directly directly to computer and use AT command. As you know, we have different ways to uh, have communication between two devices, for example, Wi-Fi, ZigBee, NRF, and another is uh, Bluetooth. Uh, Bluetooth uh, really uh, not expensive and, and it's really simple to uh, communicate to another device and uh, okay everything nothing and we have three app in here we can download on uh, google play or apple store and use it bluetooth terminal ac05 serial bluetooth terminal or bluetooth automation hc05 this, uh, these three apps uh, we need to download and use it on the phone to connect this module. And uh, next, uh, yeah, uh, this is the one of this app. I think so. It is Bluetooth Terminal HC05, the, uh, this part. Yeah. And uh, this is the first page when you pair to another device, for example, laptop or this module. You can see and you can push there. After that, see this page. Uh, this black page is uh, for uh, transmit yards and uh, this white uh, we have a, a btn or button for uh, define some comment in here and I will show uh, what is it and send comment to my micro and do something on it okay and last uh, this is my schematic of word I use uh, york2 as you can see, PR2 and PR3 for receive and transmit data. And one of them is the timer. Okay, uh, without any uh, explain, go to the project and make it. Click to STM Cubomix. Okay, and choose my micro. Yeah, it sometimes happens, not important. Download the uh, update pack. Okay, after the download this package, you can see The page to choose the micro I use a one three C eight. At first go to system core and then system change debug to serial wire and go to timer. I use timer to this project and click here open that dashboard and change clock source to internal clock okay and uh, I use internal clock in micro 800 minus 1 and for make 2 uh, second for delay okay and change this part trigger even to update event tick the uh, interrupt uh, global timer too 
everything is okay okay go to connectivity and use your you are to change asynchronous mode and after that change bot rate to if and go to nvic and tick the uart global intro uh, this point is really important uh, i use the i uh, see a lot of video in youtube but uh, i have problem when i uh, run this code uh, you must go to uh, uart part and gpio setting this is really important and change rx pull down to pull up because when you don't change this uh, pin to pull up mode uh, the code is don't work this is really important click here and uh, change this gpio to pull up this is really important you must change this part to uh, have a good answer your project okay take it and go to the configuration and uh, pc 13 is output uh, i use my led on board and uh, this led is a uh, common cathode and at first when i program my led is on go to the gpio and change output level to high at first this led i mean pc 13 is off everything is all right okay and go to project manager for example the test project choose the copy on the necessary library and desktop to save it okay uh, open the project and generate the code it's maybe a few seconds we wait okay oh, open the project here and go to this i build that first because I, uh, that first part is maybe take a long time i uh, prepare the code uh, in notepad and because we don't have a lot of time to explain and i copy this code on my code and next i explain what happened in this code okay go to include and change parties if you want this code you can send me message and download this code in my google drive and next copy this variable to pv after that we need to uh, enable interrupt your and timer uh, this is the part then okay this is for your and the timer after that this is for enable it on uh chain program as we use that is begin two these two line is enable your and this is the routine of the a receive and the timer the next part uh, add this part to while okay uh, go to option for target go to cm plus plus change this part to level zero and then go to debug setting slash download and tick reset and run and okay okay and compile the code okay i want to explain what happened i uh, add two includes in my project one of them for c language i use for buffer in strlen uh, this is the function use at the c language 
these two includes after that I use the flag J and A uh, variable and Rx for uh, receive data and the, uh, this is the str uh, we have 60 bucks to uh, when we have sent something we have to receive this part this is the len and buffer for uart transmit and uh -huh. Uh, this part is really important uh, because we want to uh, send something. Uh, I choose the 0 cross 0 A because when we send the a string uh, and uh, my micro is received that, end of the bit is 0 A. And I put it this condition after we have a uh, interrupt in uh URT we get to this condition and then the flag is one and show you what happened this is this for URT and every uh, bit we have a uh, different or separate uh interrupting here and goes back to the str1 after that we have plus plus and full this uh, box. Then I uh, use the timer, uh, separate the uh, UART part uh, because I want to the, uh, have uh, transmit the data, for example, welcome to my project. And uh, this is this, uh, this task is for uh, transmit in UART. In last video, I explain what happening here. And uh, this two line for enable um, IT or interrupt, really important. And in while, uh, I use this technique for uh, receive data, for example, LED on, uh, I uh, enable the if condition. After that, uh, this is my LED. My LED in board is common cathode, and uh, this is the reverse. When I uh, use the zero, it means one. Uh, the pin is set, and when I use the one, it means uh, zero, and the pin is reset. My LED is common cathode. This is reverse. But if you want to uh, use the external LED, you must change this part to one and this part to zero uh, this is this not important uh, and uh, just that i want to show my board uh, this is my board and uh, uh, we have led on uh, bluetooth module as you can see at first when the uh, when the new connection in board this led is uh, toggle uh, step by step and after that when pair on a device this LED is blink until for example one or two seconds as you can see that okay uh, go to back to the code and build and what happened here well uh, this is the program as I say and uh, you can see that in program uh, when you click there you can see the device as pair and click again here uh, this is this black page for uh, transmit data and we have uh, this part for receive data I program this port and you can see that this is the welcome I send. Okay, uh, let's back to the code and I comment this part. And then Build the code for on or off LED in my project. Okay. Build that. Uh, 
and uh, clear. Okay. On, and this is the two common I use that LED off or on. Okay. No. I send this, and you can see this LED is off on. Okay, this is this LED is on and the next button and I send the next button LED is on. LED on off on off on and off. Okay. Uh this is the video for uh HC05 Bluetooth module. Thanks for watching me. Please subscribe my video.